It's B-Sides on air on location at Austin City Limits 2018. We are here with Haley Knox. Hello. Welcome to the 512. Hello. Thank you for having me. Yeah. You, we were just chatting about how you've been here in Austin before. First time at ACL, though. Yes. I've never been here before. It's insane. It's so beautiful. I mean, What do you think of Austin in general? Uh, it's so cool. I mean, I've gotten to explore a little bit like downtown and 6th Street. Um, and just this festival is just crazy. The amount of people, I've never really played this big a festival before, and I'm kind of nervous, but it's going to be fun. <laughs> we caught you in San Francisco at the rickshaw stop, mm -hmm. opening for Shepard. Yes. And, you know, we didn't know who you were. I'll be fully honest here. Yeah. But we were like, wow, this girl's got Thank some you. pipes. Thank you. She can play music. Yeah, that, they're awesome. That was such a cool show. Um, I think it was like a few dates with them, and... But yeah, I've been singing for a long time, yeah. playing guitar since I was seven. Um, so it's so cool to now be on a stage like this. I'm kind of freaking out. Today, El King is playing. <laughs> yeah. And you have a fire hot version that you did Thank of X's you. and O's. Thank you. Have I you met her? I have not met her, but that would be pretty cool to meet her. Yeah. Yeah. But I love covering that song. It's such a good song. It's, is that yeah. a personal thing too? Did you pick that on purpose, or I, just I just think El King's an amazing artist. Like the her vocal ability and her right, like the rasp, it just draws you in. You've been doing this singing thing for a while. Mm -hmm. I mean, the, the the major headline is that you know you posted a lot of things online, covers yeah. as we talked about. And what what was the catalyst for picking up the guitar? Was did you grow up in a musical household? Yeah. Um, there's always been music in my house and, and in school, like my second grade teacher had a piano in his classroom. Um, and I've just always loved music. My mom's a huge music lover, plays music all the time. Uh, and I, you know, I did the talent shows and open mics. I played the local Starbucks in my town. Um, what did you grow up listening to? Because since your mom was yeah. a performer herself, did she skew blues and rock as well? or? Well, I think it's, my dad was a huge Dave Matthews fan, so that kind of got him into guitar, I think, and just, you know, he was always playing guitar, and I was singing when I was, like, real little, you know, we have voice memos of me singing when I'm, like, three years old, um, but Stevie Wonder, Michael Jackson, so many great artists growing up. You have up, videos yeah. of you and your dad when, like, you were little, <laughs> like, that that uh, that father-daughter duo that did that cover the Edward oh. Sharp and the... Yeah, and zeros, and <laughs> that video is great. We, I have, um, it's a voice memo of me singing "Blackbird" by the Beatles, which I wish I didn't miss Paul McCartney the other night. But um, yeah, it's me singing "Blackbird" by the Beatles when I'm like wow. three, and you can't, I can't pronounce it. And he's it. playing guitar. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's cute. Yeah. I had a conversation with another artist a few days ago about the pressure that musicians and artists have right yeah. now in today's socio socio political climate. Yeah. that the onus all of a sudden is on a musician or uh, an artist that yeah. writes music to provide social commentary yeah. about things that are going on right now. Yeah. Do you have, well, what are your thoughts on that? Do you feel like you want to be an escape to that? Do you, do you want to keep that on social media just for, yeah. you know? Well, I mean, it, it is, cr social media is just a crazy thing and the amount of people that are watching everything you put out there to the world is a little scary because, you know, one photo, one video, one anything, so many people have access to just look at it. So yeah. I definitely try to be careful with what I'm putting out and, you know, just, yeah. Do you try to stay <laughs> away from that type of commentary? A little bit, yeah. 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 Well, I respect <laughs> that, right? I, I have to ask because yeah. there, is a, there is a pressure to yeah. uh, someone that has that higher profile right all of a sudden yeah. it's like okay, what are your thoughts on yeah. you know such and such and such and such right yeah. hardwired mixtape coming out and so that's just a knee pee of sorts a collection yeah of it's songs. a mixtape it's like 14 songs um, some snippet songs that I've again have done a garage band and produced and wrote myself um, and then some full songs that are from a, like a few years ago that are finally coming out that I'm really excited to get wow. out there wow. um, because I've, I've been playing a lot of these songs live on tour and just to be able to be like, you can l listen to it online. <laughs> it's yeah. going to be good. Yeah. yeah. I, I can't wait to see your set later. Thank you. And I hope you get to run into El King. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> I, I want to awesome. get that moment where you're hugging her and you <laughs> yeah. do that goofy so social yeah. media post. So. Yeah. Uh, best of luck with everything. Thank great you very much. You. Thank you for having me. For sure. Thank it's uh, Haley Knox. We're at ACL 2018. Mm -hmm. B-Sides on air. Peace out.